Hi all, this is Executive Chef Nicholas Armstrong from Ciro's Restaurant at 885 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. And this is cooking tips for razor clams. First thing that I'm gonna do is grab ourselves a little clam liquor here, going into a nice hot pot already. We go ahead and add in what are razor clams. Uh, at first these things look kind of intimidating, but if you know how to work with them, then uh, they're, they're fun to cook with. Usually what I do, to make it a little easier to work with, and this is one of the few times that I'll say this in the business, but uh, I like to put them in the freezer for a little while just to uh, just so that they open up a little bit and they become a little more tender. The next thing I'm going to come in with, some beer. Let that foam up a little bit. I have some fresh parsley. We'll let that cook right in the sauce. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put a little bit of yellow mustard. Build a nice foundation for our sauce to work off of. Add a little bit of honey for sweetness. We're just going to go ahead and let that simmer. Now keep in mind these type of clams uh, get extremely tough if they're overcooked. So you want to be careful at how long you keep them on the heat for. Now if any of you folks at home are wondering why you've never really seen razor clams out there being cooked, um, the truth is, is that I think people are a little skeptical of them, but you can actually find them pretty much anywhere. We get great razor clams along the East Coast. Uh, go to your local fish market or seafood purveyor and uh, ask them for them. They'll have them. Also, you might have noticed that I didn't salt this dish, and that's because I have some finishing salt that's really going to make this pop for us in flavor. Okay, so the last ingredient I'm going to come in with, one of my favorite ingredients, just put a nice whack of butter in there. I'm going to go ahead, turn the heat right off. Kind of mix that around a little bit, let the butter incorporate, let it temporarily emulsify for your sauce. This really makes for a beautiful presentation. Go ahead and come in with our rich sauce. I went ahead and took the liberty of uh, frying off some kale. Just takes about 30 seconds or so in your fry later. Gives it a little texture to the dish, a little bit of zip. And I'll finish the dish off with what's known as fur to sell. It's a finishing salt. And there you have it, ready to eat. This has been Executive Chef Nicholas Armstrong from Ciro's Restaurant at 885 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. This has been Cooking Tips with Razor Clams. This is a beautiful dish. Try it at home. It's sure to impress your friends. Mm -hmm.